Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to show you a flip through of my May 2020 uh, planner setup. And um, I am really loving the colors this month. First of all, blue is my absolute favorite color um, of all colors. And this color blue, this darker navy blue, uh, really is <clears throat> perfect for me. Um, so first of all, I'm using um, a cover from the Foxy Fix. This is a spice, I believe it's a spice, um, Midnight is the color of it. And so I have a compact fitting with um, four strands inside, which I'll show you. And so what I got was wheat stitching, which is kind of, um, comes off as almost a gold color against this navy. Um, and then it's a medium cream on the elastic. And I got a gold fox and pip bow on the spine um, because I like this sort of navy and um, cream goldish cream together so anyway so inside what I've got is I ordered it with Pell pockets which um, I really like because they decorate beautifully um, so <clears throat> I've been ordering my planners that way recently so I am using the um, tulip time kit from Coco Daisy and it's their May 2020 kit. And what I'm loving here is the blues and the yellows and these gold tones together. So um, it just really makes me happy when I look at this. So these little clips came in the kit and they're almost like, um, like a bobby pin, but they changed them a little bit. Uh, they're much thinner this time than previous versions have been um, and so they fit nicely in here without um, adding some bumpiness so um, these little blue jars I think are gorgeous I've got some notebook paper just um, a couple of the pocket cards for decoration this is the color swatch card and I stuck a number five on it so that I um, know this is the kit from the fifth month and I need to write 2020 on the back because I do keep these I keep them all together um, I also use it throughout the month to help match colors and things if I'm looking. Anyway, so I love that. Um, so I just use my pockets pretty much strictly for decoration. I don't have a need to carry anything really in them. So that's that. I stuck a little piece of pattern paper here. And I used um, the dashboard kit. This would have been the standard, no, sorry, personal size dashboard that I cut down a little narrower and I matted it on some of the red patterned paper that came in the kit. So, and then against this same sort of yellow pattern paper. So that's my front dashboard. On the inside, if you guys follow me for a while, you know my setup is basically the same. My inside always has a pocket. I put the card from Christine in there, the owner of Coco Daisy, which um, has sort of the theme of the month, so tulip time, and then her thoughts on the back, which I, I like having that there. Uh, and I'll keep this along with this color swatch card just um, to have throughout the year and keep them together as a little collection. So the back of the paper, I just stuck a couple die cuts on there. I thought it was kind of cute. A uh, couple of the... Um, sticky notes here. These are beautiful round ones with lines on them, which I love. Makes it super easy to just um, jot down a little note if you need to quickly. Um, so I love that. So this is my 2020 monthly insert from Annie Plans Printables. And if you're interested in any of these items, make sure you read down in my description. I'll have linked everything for you. Uh, so this goes January through December. The tabs came from Sunshine Paper Co. Um, and I'll tag her as well. I don't think she has these white tabs anymore when they're just tiny little tabs, but there's lots that you can get uh, other ones. So um, each month when my kit comes, I just decorate the month with the kit, uh, cover up a bunch of stuff. And um, I love looking back on it because I have this beautiful, you know, year of all the kits from Coco Daisy for the year. So here we are in May covered up the side, put May up here, and I like to write the name of the kit down here just so I can remember it. I love sticking in the little um, holiday stickers that they send us, Cinco de Mayo, 
Armed Forces Day. We've got Memorial Day coming up. And even though there's not much to plan right now in the middle of a pandemic, I still have people's birthdays to celebrate. Uh, I still have commitments for things that I'm doing virtually, etc. So it works really well for me. And then here's what a blank month looks like. So you can see how it changes once I get it all decorated. So that is my monthly insert. Um, this is um, a task checklist I made for myself, just some household things for the year. I have a giant sticky pocket back here from the Foxy Fix, um, like the cat's flea treatment, which is quarterly, trim their nails, otherwise they scratch me up. Garden stuff, you know, change the bedroom sheets, etc. Because I get lazy and tend to forget some things. Because I'd much rather be planning, reading, gardening than doing housework. Um, this is one of my favorite pages here. This is the back of the dashboard with another one of the um, dashboard cards that I just narrowed down a little bit. Mounted it on this sort of orange and yellow background paper. It has the stripes on the back. Um, expect nothing, appreciate everything. Kind of apropos for this month of May when we really aren't doing anything and we've just got um, to stay home. And except for people who are essential for their jobs. So this is my May Daisy Dory. I've been setting it up the same for several months. Um, since we started staying home, I've been using it slightly differently and I'm really liking it. I'm a little behind because I've been trying to read a book for my book club and that's taking up some of my time. So this pattern paper here, probably my favorite of the whole kit. Um, this is a pocket card that I stuck on here. I matted it on some of the yellow paper behind it. So this yellow and blue theme, again, really, really pretty. And these are puffy. These are little puffy stickers. I don't know if you can see how thick they are. They're not too, too thick. I just stuck it right here and this little leaf one here. And you know, you barely can even tell they're in there. So they don't, they don't take up much bulk. So inside, I like to print the planner challenge for the month so that I can easily keep track of what it is and what I have um, ready. So if I've taken pictures ahead of time, I've got them ready. So this is my little month at a glance. This is the sticker that um, comes in the planner kit and it um, it's a tab sticker. So it's super flexible. That's totally okay with me um, because it gets mashed around in here and that's okay. I just want to be able to turn to this page. So. I always have a goals page here in the front, and then I start with my planner pages. So what I did for May, what I've been doing is I'm starting the month on the first, no matter what day of the week that lands on, and the first of May was on a Friday. So I just had Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in here, and I had a lot of blank space here, and that was okay. So then I moved into this week, and this is the week I'm filming. Um, and while I'm here, let me show you. This is a bookmark that they included this month. They included it in two sizes. This would be like an A5 size, um, and it fits perfectly in my standard size notebook. I didn't say this was standard already. This is standard, which is a Foxy Fix number six, if you wanted to know that. Um, so this is really cute, and I'm using it as my bookmark this month. I would often use the printables, the free printables, to make a bookmark, um, but I didn't this month because this one was here. So um, what I've been doing is taking my A5 kit and taking these rainbow stripe pages and cutting them down to about, I think that's about two and a half inches and washi taping it to the side of the page because I needed more space here. So I've got Monday through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, but I needed more space to put a few other things. And this works for me each day for the things that I have to do that are specific to the day but I needed a place to menu plan. So here's my menu plan, Monday through Sunday. And I like the way that looks and I can just fold it over and then I have my to-do list for the week. Um, right now it's to watch Survivor and Council of Dads. And then I have to do some cleaning. Don't we all? We all have to do some cleaning right now. Um, but this, this gives me the extra space I need to put things and it really works out well for me. So that's what I've been doing. I prepped the weeks ahead by just taping you know, washi taping those in. I haven't done any um, stickering yet, but that's what it looks like. Um, these middle pages, if you saw my flip through last month, I decided to use them as my memory keeping section. 
So in addition to being able to look back at these pages for what happened, I'm printing out pictures on my um, my little Canon Ivy and documenting, you know, even some gardening things, funny things that the pets are doing, um, some baking things that I've been doing because um, I have to feed my feelings right now, apparently. Uh, and so I'm just documenting because we don't have a lot going on and our kids are grown. So these couple of pages in the middle, and there's usually four to five spreads, I think. So there's one, two, three. That's the very center of the book where the staples are. Four and five. So it's perfect amount of space for me to do a little journaling and memory keeping. So that really works well. Then I use the other, um, another, this is the cardstock tab for gratitude pages. And this is the second half of the planner where you could plan in it. You could use these dividers to plan in. I've decided to use it for my gratitude and I use these little flag dates and predated the rest of it here. Now, yes, I'm a little behind. Today's the seventh, so I didn't do so well those last couple days, but I'll go back and fill it in. It's okay. So there we go. I just um, dated the rest of those pages to the 31st. Um, it's short you know, a square on a month that has 31 days, that's okay. I just split these in half and I'll be brief on those days. And there's one last spread at the back of the page that you could use for anything. You could memory keep in it, take notes, um, whatever. So it's really cute. Um, and sometimes what I've done is an in the news kind of thing, like world news. Um, right now about the only thing is talking about COVID and the numbers and how things are changing. Uh, and I'm kind of choosing not to focus on that so much in here. I mean, it's obvious that it's happening. Um, so that's that. Uh, the new logo that's coming, and you'll start seeing that roll out in your kits. I think it's so cute. It's very updated and, and good for today. So anyway, there's the back. I used um, another dashboard. Just stuck it on the back here. It's got the butterflies. I thought it was cute with all the butterflies together. And I have one more Foxy Fix dashboard back here. I put a pocket card mounted on red. And I loved this sort of, I don't know if it's a twall or, or what you would call that exactly. Uh, but I loved it. So I thought the red played off of it nicely. So that's my back dashboard. And here's the back, the red pattern paper. Life is a beautiful ride and stuck a little butterfly uh, on there. So this is my notebook. You guys have seen this before. It goes month to month with me. It's very thin, but it has 60 pages in it. And that's because it I printed it myself on Tomoe River paper. It's from Paper and Cats. It's a digital, so you can just download it. And I had her do it uh, for me with a grid. And it's a very light gray grid, which I appreciate. Each page comes pre-numbered in the corner. And what she does in the front is she gives you an index page. So you can write down the page number and what's on it. Um, so this is list notes, movies to watch, recipes, just anything um, that I wanna have. It's just like my life. Um, so it just goes with me each month when I fill it up. Um, I'll file it away and start a new one. I'll just print out a new one because I own the digital file. And I, I just really love this. So I'll link her in the, in the comments below. Uh, my back dashboard, again, another dashboard I just simply cut down. Um, this would be the personal size dashboards and just taped it down with some of the washi tape. And I thought that contrast was interesting, the red and blue against the red and blue plaid. Um, kind of pretty there, stop and smell the flowers. And then the back says tip two, tip two. No, that would be tip toe through the tulips with me, with these um, ginger jars with the tulips and just beautiful, just beautiful. So here's the other bookmark and this would be personal size. Um, so it's just sitting in here because it's cute. My pen for the month, I do wish it had yellow hardware, gold hardware. I'm not a fan of silver. Um, this cute butterfly embroidered clip, so cute. So that's back there. And sometimes if I'm doing something or writing in a page, I will pull that clip out and, and put it where I am so to just hold the pages open. So that is kind of how I use that. And it can stick out anywhere, whatever. 
So that is that. Um, this is a little planner tail charm from Fur and You that I had in my stash from previous years. And I have ordered one that's got a little um, blue 12 bead on it. So I hope it comes before the month is over so I can get it in here. So that is my setup for May. And um, I'll have to get my bookmark back in here. And I really am so happy with it. I loved that I could pull from my stash from previous years. This, this bag came, um, and now I don't remember what month, but it was last year, I think 2019. And so I keep all my little supplies in here, my scissors, um, white out, things like that. Um, but it matches perfectly with this year's kit. So I am in love with that. It's working out great. And if you have any questions, please comment below. And I would appreciate it if you would hit the like button and subscribe for me. That would make me very happy. Uh, I hope you're having a great day and a great week and a great month. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.